The federal government is expressing more concern over the controversial practice of fracking or highly pressurizing rock to extract oil or gas. As many as 100,000 new shale gas wells could be drilled over the next several decades, according to a report from the Department of Energy. As the federal government begins to assess environmental impact, some companies are deploying military tactics to sway public opinion. Michael Lawson reports. Natural gas obtained from shale was negligible at the start of the century, but now comprises 30 percent of natural gas production. As more wells pop up, residents near them have complained about the impact of chemicals in drinking water. Based on these concerns, President Obama earlier in the year directed an advisory panel within the Department of Energy to find ways to improve the process. The panel will submit their recommendations to Energy Secretary Stephen Chu this week. Amy Mall is a senior policy analyst with the Natural Resources Defense Council. The, the recommendations from the DOE subcommittee that are, are good, but they're just a start. They're not comprehensive enough. So it's not, the list of recommendations is not the end all and be all of what companies need to be doing, but it's a starting place for agencies to take action. The Energy Department panel says there will be, quote, serious environmental consequences if the industry does not improve its practices. Among the recommendations are more public input and transparency into the process, including full disclosure of fracking chemical compounds. Industry officials have been reluctant to release this, citing the recipes as proprietary. The panel also recommends implementation of controversial EPA rules being developed regarding emissions from greenhouse gases. The EPA is expected to conclude its study of fracking's effect on drinking water in 2014 and release rules related to wastewater management next year. EPA water data collection in Wyoming near several wells recently showed benzene levels 50 times that considered safe for humans, but the agency has been careful to distance itself from the fracking debate. Mall says knowledge of fracking is still in the early stages, and they don't want to take any chances. We need a lot more science and a lot more research before we can fully understand exactly what the risks are to the environment and public health and how best to address those risks. But industry groups are not waiting to sway public opinion in their favor. During a public relations conference for the industry in Texas last month, Matt Pizzarella of Range Resources was recorded using questionable language about their campaign in Pennsylvania. We have several former PSYOPs folks that work for us at Range because they're very comfortable in dealing with um, localized issues and local governments. Really all they do is spend most of their time helping folks uh, develop local ordinances and things like that, but very much having that understanding of PSYOPs in the, in the Army and in the Middle East has applied very helpfully here uh, for us in, in Pennsylvania. The remarks were recorded by Sharon Wilson, an organizer for Earthworks Oil and Gas Accountability Project. At the conference, public relations officials discussed targeting the public through zip code data mining and obtaining knowledge of area relationships to combat public opposition. Wilson said the two-day conference was filled with military imagery. They talked about it as a war, as a battle, enlist these people, um, activate these people, engagements, and, you know, it was all just a lot. They are waging war on the American public. Wilson became involved in the fracking debate when industry leaders were perfecting the hydraulic fracturing process in her rural county in Texas in the mid-90s. Since then, opposition has spread as fracking has become more common. Buffalo and Pittsburgh are among cities that have passed bans on fracking due to pressure from environmental groups. Wilson, who eventually sold her property at a loss, says today's activists benefit from the seeds sown in Wise County, Texas. Um, in the Marcellus area and on the East Coast, people benefited from, from what happened to us. We were unprepared. It was very stealthy. A large demonstration is planned in Trenton, New Jersey, November 21st at a meeting of the Delaware River Basin Commission, which also includes Pennsylvania, New York, and Delaware. Commissioners are expected to vote on rules that would end a fracking moratorium in the region and allow up to 300 wells during an 18-month trial period. Michael Lawson, FSRN, Washington.